I'm Mark. Thanks for coming along. You'll like this one today. And remember, if you can, like and subscribe. Thanks. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So someone asked about Ron, so why not? You know, he's, a lot's going on with him. And is a, you know what? There's a lot to this fellow that I didn't realize. So I'll tell you what uh, I found out. It's, it's pretty interesting. But anyway, so Ron uh, DeSantis, here's what's going on with him. In 1978, he's born Ronald Dion DeSantis. The, he's Roman Catholic and born in Jacksonville, Florida on September. Uh, and, and of course, you may have heard me say it before. That's my hometown. Uh, on September 14th, he's born, uh, and so he's a Virgo. And it's said that Virgo men are stubborn, always right, no compromise. They know better. They're critical with high expectations. They're Besides being judgmental, they're picky. Uh, they take the lead. They'd rather do something themselves than have it done wrong. And Ron DeSantis is of Italian descent. And his family uh, next moved after uh, where he was born. They moved to Orlando. We all know Orlando in Central Florida. Now, in 1984, when he was six, the uh, family relocated to Dunedin, Florida. And then in 1991, he's 13, and his Little League team made it to the World Series. Uh, Series. Uh, 1997, he's 19, and he graduated from high school, then Yale, and was captain of the uh, varsity uh, baseball team. Now, 2001, uh, he's 23, and he's a senior. He got a bachelor's uh, magna cum laude in history and was a history teacher then for about a year. In 2004, he's still at Harvard and received a national, uh, uh, not a national, he received a Naval Officers Commission, uh, Naval Officers Commission, and assignment to uh, the Judge Advocate uh, General Corps, uh, that's JAG, uh, at the U.S. Naval uh, Reserve in Dallas, Texas. Texas. Now, in 2005, he graduates Harvard with a Juris Doctor Cum Laude and completed uh, Naval uh, Justice School and was assigned as a prosecutor to the um, Naval Station um, Mayport of Florida. That's actually very close to Jacksonville. I mean, you can drive there in, in just a very short period of time, like a, maybe an hour, uh, near his hometown, uh, of course. Now, in 2006, he's promoted to lieutenant and worked with detainees at Guantanamo Bay. 2007, he's reported to... Uh, he reports to where Coronado, California, to SEAL Team 1 and deployed to Iraq as a legal advisor uh, to the commander. 2008, he returns to the U.S. and the Department of Justice, Justice appoints him as an assistant U.S. attorney in Florida's Middle District as a trial lawyer. Then in 2010, um, honorable discharge and a commission as a lieutenant in the Navy Reserve uh, awarded the Bronze Star, the Navy uh, Marines uh, Commendation, the uh, Global, Global War on Terrorism Medal with the Iraq Campaign Medal. Now, he married a former uh, TV host uh, from the Golf Channel, and she was also on that local station for Jacksonville WJXT. And uh, they lived in Potterbeater Beach near St. Augustine, so that's right on, on the ocean, beautiful. And then moved to Palm Coast, still on the ocean. And I don't know if they were on the ocean, but Palm Coast is on the ocean. And, um, and that's north of Daytona Beach, and they have three children. In 2012, DeSantis was first elected to Congress, um, and then 2013 to 2018, he represented Florida's U.S. Uh, House of Representatives, and, uh, and then uh, re-elected 2014 and 2016. The conservative uh, think tank named him as a, a taxpayer superhero. So 2017, uh, he helped found the Freedom Caucus and attacked uh, Mueller's investigation, proposed an amendment to halt funding for Mueller and said that any Russian uh, collusion should have already leaked. And uh, 2018 announced candidacy for governor of Florida because uh, Trump said he'd support him and uh, ran an ad that said he taught his kids how to build the wall and say, make America great again. Uh, with one of the kids in a MAGA red uh, jumper. And uh, he couldn't... And, uh, he could not identify one issue where he didn't identify with 
Trump. Uh, 2019, return to contribution from Lev Parnas. Remember these guys, Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman, who um, it was made the day before Trump tweeted a full endorsement. Of course, uh, he's the governor of Florida. We know that. And uh, Matt Gates, whom DeSantis trusted, held a press conference with a medical marijuana advocate to lift a ban on medical marijuana. And DeSantis uh, wouldn't declare a state of emergency. Now, 2020, Florida is a global epicenter of coronavirus. He sidelines health experts and scientists relying on his wife, a former TV reporter, and his chief of staff, a former hospital executive. Um, he boasted about the low number of COVID-19 cases in Florida, and he criticized anyone saying that the state's uh, lax response was insufficient and um, is the only governor whose approval declined after COVID-19. Now, 2021, he wanted to ban critical race theory even though it's not part of the curriculum in Florida. And uh, Florida has the highest uh, per capita hospitalizations, and he threatened uh, to withhold COVID-19 from counties criticizing distribution. I'll just kill you. Uh, he signed a law prohibiting businesses, uh, cruise ships, schools, and government entities from requiring proof of vaccination. And that, from birth till now, is our buddy, our pal, Ron DeSantis from my hometown. So this is one of my favorite decks, Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all. So, except when I use it. Now the booklet is pretty good too. It's, Cat Black has written this, it seems like. And so there's a good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually, it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her and uh, she's a webmaster and author and artist. And she also, she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, Ellie, by the way. So, and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie uh, Dreams Down Under. So she'd be tickled to know this, I think. Uh, so anyway, let's look at the cards. Um, my other favorite uh, uh, reader, uh, Violetta, uses these cards exclusively. They're the only cards she'll use. So there you go. They're beautiful, though, and they're not hard to handle. They're a little slicky, and when they're new, they're very gilded on the edge, and then as you use them, of course, that starts wearing off, which is sad. But, um, but they're beautiful. They're easy to read. They're Rider White uh, iconography, and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So, you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with, uh, you know, practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art, I think. So, anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you uh, to look at the different cards when I do this. And uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here. So Ron DeSantis, let's see what the cards can tell us about Ron today. You know, I don't have a specific question. Uh, I think I'm just going to let the cards tell whatever story uh, comes out uh, with this guy. But I mean, what he's, he's Florida is the worst uh, state in the union, I think, for their um, response to coronavirus. And and I mean, just threatening people if they dare ask for masks. Oh, man, so. Ron DeSantis, what happened to you? And he's Harvard. You know, does that, I guess, does that not mean anything? Because um, it sounds like it doesn't. All these Republican lawyers are Harvard graduates. Good grief. Okay, so let's take uh, six cards off the top for Ron DeSantis. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'll we'll wait four more at the end to finish this reading. And uh, let's see what we find out about good old Ron. My gosh, what a mess. So, Ron DeSantis, what's going on for you right now? Possibility of running for governor, I suppose? Uh, no, president, excuse me. He's already done that. So, the Two of Swords, well, there's, you know, you've got to make a decision. That's what this card is. So, his self right now is making a decision about running for president. That's where he's at. The challenge to that is uh, judgment. Well, sure, it's judgment. You know, how uh, is he uh, responding to what's happened in Florida? He's got the worst state in the union, I believe, I'm saying that correctly. It certainly feels that way, being from Florida. And uh, so that's uh, that's the challenge to making this decision to run for president. The base of this reading, then, 
is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is the fighter of the royal suite, and Cups is compassion and uh, you know emotion. And um, so I'm not sure how that figures into this. Let's put it right here for a minute and see what's in the past of this reading. You know, looking at this uh, card here, it actually reminds me of Florida. The main river that runs through Florida is the St. John's River, and it's uh, it used to be called Cow Ford because you could ford the cows across it at the at this uh, narrowest point in Jacksonville. And for some reason, this uh, reminds me of that because there's a tower-ish kind of uh, structure on one side of the river, and uh, this knight is crossing over. I don't know, so we'll see. Maybe it's just uh, my personal connection. And the ba back of this reading here is a page of coins. So right lately, this card has been coming up for me in these political readings as, as a meaning of value. And I think he just brings very little value to the plan here. Uh, more than he, uh, he thinks he brings more than he actually does. That's uh, my feeling on that. The sky of this reading is justice. Look at this. You got judgment and you got justice. And uh, yeah, I think uh, justice is certainly what he has to fear. The likely outcome of the first part of this reading is the king of swords. So I'm going to say truth and justice, yeah, are the ones who are going to rule the day in this uh, bid that uh, DeSantis may have on his mind. But right now, to see what is the last part of this reading, we'll pick four cards and the self, the self of Ron DeSantis right now. How are you feeling right now? There's lots of controversy. There's stuff going on for you. You've stirred up some dust. And the self for him, look at this, is a four of swords. This is the guy who has to take a rest. He's, he's caution. Don't get up too soon because you're going to get stabbed in the head. You, you, you know, he's still got his sort of of I don't know what rules maybe his the fact that he's a, a, a governor he's got the the state's law on his side so yeah that's the self of him right now he is not wanting to make too much of a move and a little drink of water there before I cough all over you now the uh, environment that that's in for celebration is the three of cups and the three of cups is just that but you look here and you've got some folks who are looking on to him to these celebrations. So yeah, yeah, he uh, there's he needs to get up and get the party going, but he he's cautioned against doing that because he should take care that he doesn't get hurt. The hopes and the fears then. Look at that; it's the tower card. So yeah, he would fear that everything come tumbling down, but the fact that we actually pull the tower card is just uh, amplifies that that fear and the likely outcome of the whole thing. Let's see what we get. Is the Ace of Coins. So he may come out of this with some value somehow. The Ace of Coins is an offer of value of actual money. Ah, of course, the war chest that he'll amass for this presidential run, even if he doesn't eventually take it, or if he lose it, he can still end up with it. So there's a lot of reasons why he would want to run, even if he doesn't win. Huh, very interesting. So that was a very interesting read. Yeah, it certainly was. We started out with uh, Ron DeSantis. Uh, Ron DeSantis, uh, what does he need to do? He needs to make a choice. And I think the choice he's going to make is if he's going to run for office. And then uh, that was challenged by what? It's challenged by the judgment that he's enduring right now for the way he's handling his state. During the, if he can't handle a state, how's he going to handle a whole country? Uh, the basis of the reading was the Knight of Cups, which I never really fully defined unless he's going to somehow try to define himself as being the Knight of Compassion and I don't know how. With the way he's treating his his, uh, his state. In the past, of the reading was the page of coins. Is, to me, this lately has just been meaning not bring very much value to the game. And then in the sky, uh, what's going to happen? We're going to have justice. Uh, yeah, justice is going to be the one that weighs uh, what happens in here. With the likely outcome being the king of swords. And uh, the king of swords. You know, you know he's swords of truth, justice, rules, law, and the king is the the top of that. So uh, it may uh, be a strong reason for him to actually uh, run. But then uh, when you get to the self of who is he, it's like you better take a rest and don't get up. Uh, I know you need to get these celebrations going for the party, but now is not the time to do it. Or if you do it, you better be very cautious about it because the next thing coming is the tower. Okay. The tower and may the not tower? be such a bad thing because after all, he ends up with money uh, in the bank. So that's what I get for, for Ryan. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.